Hey guys, welcome back to another action figure review. We have the last of the Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid Nendoroids up for review, Kana. Nendoroid packages come in a large open window on the front, letting you see the accessories and the figure inside. Under the window, we can see the product number and the official genuine sticker on the front. More pictures of Kana are on the back of the box in different poses, as well as the instructions on how to swap the faceplates and a few warnings in both English and Japanese about small sharp parts. Both sides of the box have two pictures of Kana in different poses you can get her into, using some of the accessories that comes with her. Removing the package from the bottom allows us to see a hidden advertisement for a new type of stand, as well as easily sliding out the plastic tray inside, clamped down with the top to hold everything in place. Like most high quality figures from Japan, this figure is wrapped in plastic and has a small sheets of plastic between each joint to prevent paint rub. These can be easily pulled off. Kana is yet another dragon from another world, investigating rumors that her old friend Toru is still alive after her battle with the god and living among humans. She would then find out that Toru has survived and is living with Kobayashi. Kana then shows up at Kobayashi's home to try and convince Toru to come back to her home world. Eventually, it is found out that Kana was exiled from her world by her parents, and forced to live alone on Earth, making Kana weaker than usual due to the lack of magic on Earth. Eventually, she gets used to Earth, but due to her very young age as a dragon, she still acts as a child, and eventually gets enrolled in school, acting as the daughter of the family. She can regain her power by recharging herself in power outlets or lightning, and has a strong appetite, eating almost everything that she can get her hands on. Let's take a look at some of the details of the figure. Kana has a bright white lavender colored hair, sculpted in a few large strands and a small black bow resting on the top of her head. We have large blue anime style eyes here with large eyelashes and small eyebrows painted onto the faceplate. The overall face has a neutral tone, an expressiveless face normally seen on Kana. Two large white horns stick out from the side of her head, one pointed upwards and the other down. Here we can see the smaller ear of the figure as well. On the back of the head, the hair is parted down the center, with just a slightly darker hair tone painted to give some depth. Towards the bottom of her hair, the strands are tucked into large black beads, forming two pigtails. Here we can see the tips of her hair, with the last of the strands flowing out of the three large hair beads. Kana wears her iconic white and pink frilly dress, with the matching capelet covering her neck and shoulders. It has a few black buttons detailed down the center, and is detailed with small seams in the cloth with more white and pink frills at the edge. Pre-installed on Kana is a red school leather backpack with red straps that go over the shoulders and detailed with silver buttons and pockets in the sculpting. Removing the backpack lets us have a better look at the back that has the same design as the front with an added socket on the back that can be either used by the backpack or stand that we will cover later on in the review. Onto the shoulders we continue that pink dress covering the entirety of the arms puffing out at the wrist and ending in an open cuff style. The small hands are in a closed fist position. Kana wears knee-high socks with more matching frills and red slippers with a few laces tied around the ankles. And like all the other dragons, we have a small tail sticking out of the back, a long and skinny purple tail with a large bulb at the end. Let's see what kind of articulation we get with this figure. We have a joint at the neck that allows us to rotate and look up and down slightly, with not much range due to the large head. The pigtails on her hair at the back is also able to rotate. And while the shoulder does have a socket, the arms are pretty much sculpted into place. The hands do rotate. And she actually does have rotation at the waist, but due to the nature of the sculpt, it's completely blocked. On the back, the tail is actually able to rotate left and right a small amount. And finally, we have legs that can bend forward and rotate. Unlike all the other dragons, Kana cannot stand on her own at all, unable to use her tail as a third leg to balance on since it's so small. So Kana will be permanently using a stand to display. Next to Toru, Kana is just a bit shorter, but overall in the same size and scale, with the only lack of hair details making the figure shorter. Next to another Japanese figure, a Darkness Figma, we can see the comparison between a Nandoroid and the action figure scale Figma. Hopefully we can get some Dragon Maid figures in this format. 
Next to a more common sized statue figure, we have a pop-up parade darkness figure to get a good idea on posing Kana near some larger figures like this. And for all you hardcore Kana fans out there, this is the bootleg 2017 version of Kana, a custom made figure with cloth accessories and a cuposh style body that was only available for a short time. For the accessories, we get a faceplate and an open mouth eating expression, and another faceplate and a sleeping expression. Just like every other Nandoroid, in order to swap the plates out, you first pull off the hair plate in front. Then, you can start to pull off the original faceplate. Afterwards, the new faceplate swaps into place easily, with the hairpiece covering up the rest of it. Already installed on Kana, we have the red leather school backpack with two shoulder straps and a large peg on the back with the socket at the bottom. To install the backpack, you can simply slide it into the peg on the back with the straps easily sliding over the shoulders. We get a set of arms bending at the elbow. This one is pre-installed with the grabbing hand and the thumbs up. Both hands are able to rotate as well. Swapping out the arms is pretty easy, being able to gently pull off the originals and socket the new arms into the upper part of the capelet. We have an extra hand holding a small red crab. You can remove the original hands on the arms and peg in the crab hand. Pre-installed on Kana, we have the grabbing hand that can hold onto the straps of the backpack. We have a lower body accessory that's in the sitting pose, detailed just like the main body with the socket on the back. You can remove the lower body of Kana, and with a bit of force attach the sitting body. It's a very tight fit that holds up on its own. We have the standard clear base that we get with most Nendoroids, and the arm for the base with three points of articulation and the small size peg for the back. To install the arm, you simply match the square peg onto the back of the figure, then attach it to the base. The claw arm is strong enough to pose the figure into the sky or just above other figures. We have a special shorter version of the base arm with the longer peg. This version is meant to be used with the backpack accessory. Since the backpack uses up the back slot, we can stick this one on the bottom of the backpack then secure it to the figure to the base. And lastly, we have a spare neck accessory in the same skin color as the figure. Another great Nandoroid figure from Good Smile. Kana's likeness to the anime and then later manga are spot on and definitely brings out her cuteness in this form. While the manga Kana differs from the art style of the anime greatly, the more the manga is updated with new volumes, the more Kana begins to look more and more like the anime version. This version of the Kana Nandoroid is taking more characteristics from the anime show. But in this small Nendoroid form, they both look similar enough to pass for either. With a great amount of accessories to work with, Kana gets into a few different poses, including an entirely new lower body, allowing her to be in the sitting pose. The included backpack and crab are some nice touches for the figure, setting her up for some poses from some iconic scenes in the anime and manga, especially that tiny crab. Just like the Uruuru figure, most of her accessories are meant to be put in a single pose, with not much room for creativity. Especially with the shoulders and how the arms work on this figure. The arms are shaped to fit rather than have any sort of range of motion. So the bending arm will always be near Kana's face and the straight arms will always be pointing downward. One thing to mention is that none of the current Nandoroids so far have felt fragile in any way. But Kana does as her tail and backpack straps are extremely small and delicate. Something to take into consideration when posing her. Kana seems slightly more limited than what I expected out of her. Especially compared to Toru, Kana feels locked into her poses. But that might not be too much of a downside as her Nandoroid displays some iconic poses very well. And if you're not wanting to swap around displays much, then she does her job very well at just sitting there and looking cute. I'm impressed on how unique each Mei Dragon figure has felt from each other. And how unique with a nod of the source materials the accessories have been. With these three characters out of the way, we can only hope that the rest of the crew gets filled out, especially with the main character Kobayashi missing from this lineup. Fans of the show have been waiting for a long time for some Kana figures, and the Nandoroid series has done a great job bringing the life of the characters into this form. Kana's definitely worth picking up for the fans of the manga or anime. With a character like Kana, it will bring a lot of cuteness to your collection as one of the more popular characters in the anime in general. Now release Alma. 
All right, guys, that's it for this review. Leave a comment letting me know how you like this figure. Subscribe or share this video with your friends to help out the channel.